worked in uh, in government for many years and I realized on the kind of receiving end what IAP did for a government agency. It gave us a real focus on, on, on the people that work and that do the tasks as opposed to always just strategy and deliverables. So when I started here at JET uh, three years ago, I saw that as a huge gap within the organization. So working with the standards every day has taught us what gaps we had, what we need to focus on, but also acknowledge that we were doing something right. So it had that affirmation. I think the standards come through a long process internationally being refined and polished and getting better and better. But at the end of the day, it's how you interpret it and how you implement it within your organization. We have been very focused over the last three years on strategy, on the business model, on delivery. And what we've forgotten in that process is what are the people within this context? How are they cared for? What are their needs? What are they... What are the expectations in the work environment? One of our core values at JET is putting people at the centre. And the key take back from the IAP process is we don't always put people at the centre. So the standard has helped us to unlock that aspect. I often talk about we've got three key principles that we work in here as an organisation. The one is the business ambition, that's essentially the strategy. The second one is the business model. That's essentially how we do our business and our processes. And then the third one is the business culture. If you don't have these three concepts aligned, the business is not successful. And IRP plays a really important role in the business culture. And I've used the IRP standard and the IRP process to help my team to understand the business culture. Without culture, people are not going to take come along for the journey. They're going to go in different paths, different directions. And the importance of culture and then IEP that brings us together is to make us go together in the same direction and that determines the actions that we're going to take as well. Culture eats strategy for breakfast. If you don't get culture right, you can do all the other things. IAP has helped me as a, as a leader in the organisation and the management team to get more to grips to the, with the culture. We've got a long way to go, we, we're early days, but that's the one thing that stands out for me. I would agree that it is a strategic tool for us. It's giving people not only um, the organisation a tool, but themselves a tool in how to enhance their own potential, make them better people. Even though I am maybe somewhat not in the senior position, I actually have a voice. And that is the most important thing for me. Make them understand what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. And by doing that, they are able to contribute more meaningfully in the, in the company. Because I believe if I'm happy, the work I will do is of high value, high excellence. So one of the main reasons I pushed for IIP was increased competitiveness. The second reason, which is probably the more important one, is to get people to understand why they're here and the mission, the vision, the culture. I think the greatest benefit for JET, um, since we've started the IIP process and we've implemented it this year, is that we've got an action plan um, with clear, um, measurable targets that we're working towards. The benefit for me would be an engaged workforce. I want an engaged workforce in this organisation. I want a workforce that understands our vision and our mission, and I want a workforce that is happy to work here and want to work here.